Hi everybody, the Mature Simmer here. Welcome to this week's edition of Mods Worth Noting. So the first one is one of those that I hadn't really thought of, but is actually really a good idea, and that is Forage Contracts, which simply implements field forage harvest contracts. So if you like to do foraging, or just are looking for a different type of contract, on the PC here, MMTRX has created your ability to do that. Toolbox Pack is a variation of six different options for toolboxes to repair vehicles anywhere. So it takes this mod that we used to have, which tended to be this toolbox here, I believe, and gives you five other options, as you can see, including a large one that is more the tool chest, is what we would call it here in the U.S. But again, it's PC only, but if you like to use something like this, there you go. So GTX, who I've seen as an author on lots of mods that I tend to talk about on the channel here, Move Husbandry Animals is a new one from them that appeared this week. And this allows you simply to move animals between two husbandry or two barns that you have on your farm. And I'm not a breeder, so I don't know the details of this, but farms will separate newborn animals to a rearing barn and so this allows you to do that without having to put them on a trailer and move them. It just basically takes the dynamic in-game, I think, of where you would sell or buy from the animal dealer and basically functions the same way. So you can see here that they're moving from a cow birthing barn to a cow rearing pasture. There's no prices. It doesn't cost you anything. And so as they talk about, it's made to mimic the fact that you're just redirecting the animals because it would seem then in this explanation that it's just a different pasture and you just guide them through a different gate or something. The exploit, if you want to say, if you don't want to stick with realism, is it doesn't limit the distance of how far these things are. So they could be across the map, which obviously would be a bit more challenging in real life to do without a transport vehicle but it just lets you go ahead and do that. So I think that was a nice addition as well. Cream Factory is new productions, which I absolutely love the introduction of productions in this game because I think it just allows the economy to grow and just fill in gaps that are there. So in addition to the butter, cheese, and chocolate you would have in a dairy, you also now can create chocolate milk, whipped cream, cream cheese, and sour cream. You have to buy salt from the store for some of these recipes, and of course there's a sell point included. Magic Bean Production Coffee is also by Newell Gaming, the modder for the mod we just talked about as well. So once again, an ingenious product chain, I would say, for what you have here. So you get a couple greenhouses that allow you to put in water and will grow what they call coffee pods, which I assume are the beans themselves, or, or the plants. That, that produce the beans. You then go to the bean house where you input the coffee pods and empty pallets and you will get cherry coffee or coffee beans out of it. If you don't have a mod to give you empty pallets, they also have a carpenter included in here where you put wood or boards in and you get empty pallets so that you can feed that part of your production chain. They then have a jelly shop where you input strawberry grape, coffee cherry, and empty pallets, and you're going to get various types of jelly, either strawberry grape or cherry jelly. In the coffee house itself, which is to emulate the cafe, the serving part of the supply chain, you will take the coffee bean that you got from your bean house, or your coffee cherry, which you also got from your bean house, and empty pallets and then you will get either roasted coffee or cherry tea. So overall really an interesting thing to play with if you're into that. So some pretty nice assets they've created. You can see it's Melody's Magic Coffee House. This is Melody's Magic Bean House. So this is where you process the coffee pods and I assume uh, this is just selling at a sell point. And then this would be the greenhouses that are growing the coffee pods, I think. So if you're interested in that, take a look. I do like the name, the Magic Bean Production, and then in parentheses, coffee. You know, because yes, for people who love it, it is a bit of a magic bean. So this must be the week for productions. So 
This one is a little simpler. It's simply a faster tailoring operation that lets you do fabric and clothes in one process because it's basically a kind of an assembly line. So they call it a large American tailor shop is the building. Again, it works across all platforms, but it basically is faster wool and cotton processing. Digital gas station displays was one I was always wondering and thinking, wow, that would be great because sometimes the price just doesn't match when you go in to get fuel with what's on the sign. But this takes care of that. So on the PC, if you want either a large or a small one, you can do that. So once in a while, I'll call out additions that catch my eye. And placeable KS67 grain silo is certainly one of those. It's a 1.2 million liter capacity grain silo for $250,000 handles standard crops but just a different look on the farm from the silos that have been available for us whether they're from the modding community or anywhere else. Handsaw would be your survival series tool for certain. It works across all platforms and $200 and you get a handsaw that you can then use to cut through trees and what you would use the saw for. The Fiat 480 is a early 1970s tractor from Fiat that has now been brought into the game by Pepe978 across all platforms. And that is it for this week's edition of Mods Worth Noting. If you've liked this video, please consider clicking the like button. And if you are not currently a subscriber, please consider that. I will see you next time.